July 28, 1945. New York City was shrouded in a smothering blanket of fog when scores of people heard a low-flying plane heading south. Then an explosion. What had been a wartime dread had happened. An army bomber lost in the overcast had crashed into the towering Empire State Building. Scores of warplanes passed over New York daily, but this one had wandered from the airport beam, dropped down to 900 feet, and ripped into the building. Parts of it blasting completely through the 79th floor and landing across the street. With most elevators knocked out, firemen had to drag hoses 11 flights from the 68th floor to fight the flames. Disaster units organized for wartime went into action. When a count was made, three crewmen were dead, as well as ten persons working in the skyscraper, including one man blown from his office to the parapet below. Twenty-five persons were injured in a disaster that remains the most singular in New York City's history. High-octane gas from ruptured fuel tanks threw a sheet of flame through the offices. This was a funeral pyre for most of the victims who could not be identified for many days. Although the war was ended in Europe, Japan was still fighting, and this disaster brought home to New Yorkers some of the stark horror of war. There was one miracle. An elevator operator plunged with her car from the 75th floor to the sub-basement. Her back was broken, and she spent a year in the hospital. However, she lived to recount the disaster on 34th Street. <laughs>